Well, hello there and good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we are playing Crusader Kings 2 Northeast Orama. This is episode 112, and uh, I'm looking through to see who I can and can't imprison. Some people don't want me to imprison because of my council, because. Wow, we're in the council and we're malcontent and we bought everyone, huh? Or we're just stupid. You know. If I want to arrest someone, shouldn't you just let me arrest them? Or are you all just swayed by, like, this one dude? What's his diplomacy? Five? I mean, you're not swayed by anyone but... Like, that's so dumb. That's really dumb. So my realm is enforcing realm peace, so my vassals will be assaulting everyone. Which is so good. Right now, we're, we're taking Austrasia. Reams versus Aquitaine. He's not the main leader of that war, though. But Aquitaine's gonna lose. That that war's lost. I mean, nice try, Jilland, but you're you're not there yet. Uh, France is down in fucking Lombardy. Defending against Duke Hillebrand of Iveria. And a revolt. He's got a revolt. Which is revolt. If I border the revolt, I want a piece of the revolt. I thought Lombardy had a little piece of land out here. I guess they lost it. Where's your revolt, buddy? I want your revolt. Oh, it's this. It's this little guy, huh? Heir to the Duchy of Burgundy. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, I have a truce with this dude. How do I have a truce with you? I must have already taken something from him. I took Nice. Right, okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. I, I got my rebellions mixed up. Let's see who we are allowed to, uh, to declare on. Well, we border this little guy here. This is the Lithuanian Revolt. Well, guess what, dude? You just got yourself a little conquest. So you're my kinsman and you're malcontent. Well, I can tell you who is not going to be on my council any longer. Guess what? Punt! About, uh, how about you? You're gonna be around for a while, but you hate me. You're never going to like me very much. So you can give me 3,000 troops. Okay, done. <laughs> that ought to be enough. How many troops do you have here? 800? So I really would like more, though. Another 1,000. Maybe another 4,000. You know, just, just to make sure it's, like, fair. That we got a good chance of things. So... Bragi Ouster left a defensive pact opposing Rafael Munso, eh? Who is Bragi Ouster, you might ask? He's the war chief of the Joms Vikings. He shouldn't be in a war. She shouldn't be pacting against me. One of these days, my illness is going to get me killed. He raised a travel army. That's adorable. My courtier, Prince Toltir, wants to go join the Joms Vikings. He's in a matrilineal marriage with my sister. Um. Eh. I mean, I'd really rather you not become disinherited. So, no, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to go. I only say this because you're married to my sister. This was Drew's children. Ooh, you want to fight? Hold on. 15th? Oh. July 7th? 
July 9th. You want to fight? Okay. Nah, that's cool. The situation we want defense or morale defense more than anything. I know it, it seems like it's hypocritical, but like those, that seven, that thirty-seven percent is pretty significant. You guys are nowhere near getting to reinforce in time, but that's okay. If you use some careful planning, he has emerged from the court of this dude to raise a large army and hoping to press his claim. Uh, West Friesland and Frisia. So you are now at war with Frisia. Good. You're Dutch. You're like almost Norse. Another great holy war can be called. Oh, I didn't know I would find that here. 15. I got a long way to go for that. Oh well. They've engaged us in combat. They are fl One of their flanks has already retreated. That makes no sense. Definitely gives me an advantage, though. Wouldn't you think? Thank you, autosave. Do your thing. So that was unusual. I mean, I didn't expect his flank to fold, like... I guess it had no morale. What the hell was that for? I didn't ask. I don't even read that. Uh... What now? Sure, I accept your call to war. Did not trigger the coalition. Which is what I wanted. Just so I'm clear, what did you declare? Your tour of your Kiev is my vast my my tributary. He's fighting for the Kingdom of Lithuania and the Duchy of Volhynia. That's surprising. I'm going to essentially be tributizing the Kingdom of Lithuania. I'll take it. Uh, my sister died. No! What did, man, what'd you die of? Great pox? That's a damn shame. Anyway, enforce demands. Seize this land. Uh, you are part of Vladimir Volinsky, which is a jure part of the Kingdom of Kongadur. The Chevalinia, Kingdom of Kongadur. So, even though you're like, you love me to death. This is the jure part of your land, so I'll, grant, I'll give it to you. Or I won't. Because apparently the whole council is stupid. All right, who do you have that I can just, no, God damn it. How old are you, zero? Guess what? <laughs> Even worse. Okay, how about this? Who do you have that's a vassal? All right, vassalized Vexen, huh? <laughs> um. I'll grant this land to the Jarl of Ostrogotland. How about that? Good. Done. Done with. Going to fight Lithuania. What are you Byzantines doing? What's this about? You're defending against Prince Dorotheus. Okay, have fun. Uh, I think I'm paranoid. Is my character paranoid? He's cynical. He's malaised. He's content, but he's malaised. Makes no sense. I already did this, didn't I? Not for sure I'd clicked that already. I'm sorry, I have 8,500 there. Who are you? Mokchava? Guess what? Beat you up, take your land. So 
So I clicked it and it didn't do anything. Small plot of my landing. Are you out of your mind? Um. So why is this thing not going to my doctor? Castle Tunnels were built in Pittsburgh. Excellent. Uh, I can continue building stuff, but I want to save my gold up for um, hospital buildings at this point. Pilgrim's Inn would be nice. Expanded Sick House might be good too. I need the expanded. I need separated awards three. So what the hell is this? Oh, that upgrades it to separated wards three. I wish we either say this is. No, I, I guess that makes sense, but eh. allergy spread rate would be nice. This would be essential. Yeah, those tech points sound tempting. It's like I'm short on money, you know. Um, hey, court physician, you're supposed to, have to do a job. You're not doing it. Artavan Zakharid, who the hell are you and why did you leave? The Shah of Baluchistan. Uh, that's cool. Oh, I created a title that I might not like. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not allowed to seek treatment for illness. I'll try that, see if that maybe like, maybe I was out commanding for some benevolently insane reason. We're at the leader of the siege, we're helping to apply pressure. Uh, Pomerania has declared holy war for Moray on the King of Scotland. Uh, who are you defending against? You're defending against it's the Pomeranian Holy War and against Revolt. So Hakon has declared a Holy War against a guy who's got just about as many troops as him. That is a stupid idea. Don't ever do that. France is taking land from Austrasia. Or raiding it, I'm not sure which, but I don't care which either. Could just send my men to raid the Teutonic Order just for fun. Uh, I don't want them to lose to the Muslims. I like think it matters, but. Saluika? That's weird. Is that what I mind? Oops. I don't know what that was. A son was born to a Riffle, and uh, oh, he's a twin. That's sweet. Vaginator. Inglefer. Yeah, we haven't had an Inglefer. He's also a hunchback. We have hunchback in our genetics, don't we? Yeah, see, it's not actually treating illness. It's just stupid. Go squish this, please. This will be glorious. You spend uh, hours sketching up your plans for different building projects and you suddenly realize you can display your extraordinary architectural skills. You'll build a grand tower! Wah, <laughs> I can't afford it. Yes, I can. Uh, what now? That's a lot of fucking money. This better be worth it, man. That literally put me in debt now. For like a minute, but... The doubters will be proven wrong. Budget deficit again? That's weird. Wait, what? 
These plans are already the first payment. Strangely enough, according to a rumor, he seems to have had in the last few times. Yes, I'm gonna be like, nope, you're not, you're not screwing me over, dude. Three thousand nine hundred seventeen gold, and now I'm stuck with. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hold on. Uh, paradox. You've just screwed me over completely. Because now I'm going to be 1,000 ducats in debt. With no way to get out of it easily. How long does this last? Until This doesn't even last... It's 80 years. Constantinople's already pretty built up. I guess I'll lose the 1,000, but I'm going to have freaking everything, man. This is ridiculous. Paradox there should have been an option to bail out of that. I'm sorry. There absolutely should have been an option to bail out of that. So I guess we're arresting people. Or the council doesn't want me to. I have 1% chance to arrest you. You hate me anyway. You're going to revolt. That's fine. Can't pay my armies, but sure. It's a lot of people. It's a pretty big revolution, actually. <sighs> I already have that raised, don't I? Oh man, I have that raised too. That's not good. I can't raise my personal life because I'm broke. So I gotta hope that's enough troops to put this dude down. Sorry, dude. Revolt risk it is. I'm going to be spending forever dealing with these this this deficit thing. This is so insane. <sighs> Man. Known plots. All right, dudes. This is sort of stupid. I'm thinking. Would you tell me what these interests are? I can't request council support because he's already under a favor. This is a really stupid position to be in. I can't even imprison people that I need to imprison. Why? You know, not for nothing. You're off the council, buddy. Like, what an asshole, man. I need to go through and do this this freaking imprison shit. And you're all just gonna be against me for no good fucking reason. It won't tell me who's voting against it out of So you're turning your favorite a King Arnfast the Quarreler. 
Okay. Guess you just got kicked off my council. Goodbye. You will, will I be allowed to imprison criminals now? No. Duchy of Alineos and Duke of Kiev 1. So that means my vassal is now King of Lithuania. Alright. So he owns like nothing. So now he owns three provinces. So he's paying me a little more now. He's got, he makes 44 a year, he pays me 40% of that, so it's not bad. Looks like 8 ducats a year. Um, stand down the levies that I have from other vassals so I can raise them where I need them. So I can crush this rebellion and at least imprison this king. Um, alright. Maybe now I can accomplish something? But we'll see about that in the next episode. We've gone over time. Until then, thank you for joining me, and as always, on this channel, La Paz.